Actually, as you know, our wonderful governor cannot run again, and he's the only governor that can't succeed himself. One term, and you're out. That's just the way it is. And I guess the founders did it because he's a very powerful governor, but one term. And so I am no longer running for lieutenant governor uh, again, and this is not new, well, maybe news, uh, Washington Post has already said so. And so we want you, if you know anyone who wants to run for lieutenant governor on our side, please tell them come see me. I'll tell them how wonderful it is. And <laughs> serve the people and all of that because I just told you that I was able to break a tie where we were going to protect your freedom to be able to speak against politicians. Can you believe that? That was actually a thing. And so the lieutenant governor is very important. In fact, one of the things that I do is I have to sign the bill before it gets to the governor. And so when you look at a bill, you'll see Speaker of the House, his signature, you'll see my signature, and then you'll see the governor's signature. And Mr. Speaker, you know all about that. And, and so I have three days constitutionally to sign it, three days. Were you paying attention, I said. <laughs> yeah, and so, but no, I'm not running for lieutenant governor again, but I am strongly exploring the run for governor. <laughs>